Hello and welcome to Marketing91.com. The circular flow of income and expenditure simultaneously explains how national income and output are determined. The overall economic activity, production, exchange, consumption and distribution is represented by a circular flow of income, output and expenditure. In the circular flow, the green line shows individuals and households who provide factors of production to firms for producing goods and services households consume or purchase. The blue line shows household spending on goods and services produced by firms. The money spent by households is then used by firms to pay the former for their labor via income. Circular flow in a closed economy has six elements. Households are owners of factors of production land, labor, capital and entrepreneurship. Firms are business concerns or entrepreneurs who decide what, where, when, how and for whom to produce goods and services by using the factors of production. Factor prices include rent, wages, interest and profits paid by firms and received by households or factor owners. Payment of factor prices results in the distribution of the value of goods and services to factor owners. Exchange takes place in the commodity market where goods and services are sold by the firm and purchased by households. Money received, factor payment received by households is spent on purchasing goods and services. Next is circular flow in a two-sector economy without savings. The assumptions are, the economy has two sectors, households and firms. Production takes place only in firms. Households spend their entire income on goods and services, that is, there are no savings. Firms do not maintain any inventory. There is no government sector, that is, expenditure and taxes are absent. The foreign sector is absent. Elements in this circular flow are Households, factor owners and consumers, shown on the left side of the diagram. Firms, factor users and producers, shown on the right hand side of the diagram. Factor services flow from household to firms and factor income flows from firms to households. The flow of goods and services. Services converted to goods and services by firms are purchased by households. Payment for goods and services spent by households for purchase of goods and services thereby returning money to the firms and completing the circular flow. Real flow represented by the factors of production and goods and services and money flow represented by factor payments and payments for goods and services. Next is circular flow in a two-sector economy with savings and investments. Savings are a form of leakage in the circular flow which get injected back in the flow in the form of investments. The flow of savings and investments between households and firms takes place through the financial sector or markets. The financial sector consists of commercial banks, stock markets and non-banking financial institutions. Next is circular flow in a three-sector economy. In a three-sector economy, there are three economic agents, households and firms, financial markets and government. In this circular flow, government income is received in the form of taxes from both households and firms. Government expenditure is spent in the form of transfer payments, salaries to government employees, purchase of goods and services, etc. Tax payments reduce disposable income of households and firms, thereby reducing their expenditure and savings. Injection of income in the economy, money spent by the government is received by households and firms. Leakages occurring in the form of savings and taxes in the circular flow of income and get injected back in the form of investment and government expenditure. When leakages are equal to injections, the flow of economic activities occurs smoothly. In a case of a circular flow in an open or four-sector economy, a four-sector economy consists of the following Households and firms financial markets, government and world economy. A four-sector economy is an open economy which interacts with the rest of the world. Households export labor and receive remittances. Firms export and import goods and services. Inflow of money from exports, foreign investments and borrowings. 
outflow of money for imports, foreign investments and lending. Both households and firms have net exports X minus M representing the balance between receipts and payments. The magnitude of circular flow is more if X is greater than M, less if X is lesser than M and unaffected if X equals M. If savings equals investment, S equals I, government expenditure equals taxes, G equals T and exports equal imports, X equals M, there will be equilibrium in all the sectors. Moving on, let's understand some of the important macroeconomic identities. National income is equal to the sum of consumption expenditure and investment spending and can be expressed as Y equals C plus I where Y is the national income, C is consumption expenditure and I is investment spending. Income received by households is allocated to consumption and savings and is expressed as Y equals C plus S. Here S denotes savings. Combining equations 1 and 2, we get C plus I equals Y equals C plus S. This shows that the output produced equals the output sold. Subtracting consumption C from identity 1 and 2, we get I equals Y minus C equals S. This equation shows that a simple economy is in equilibrium when investment equals saving. Introducing the government and external sector, the fundamental identity is an open economy is Y equals C plus I plus G plus NX where G donates the government spending on purchases of goods and services and NX refers to net exports. Disposable income is equal to national income plus transfers minus taxes. Transfer payments are not a part of current production and excluded from the national income. Hence, we get dy equals y plus tr minus t, where dy is the disposable income, tr is the transfer income and t refers to taxes. Disposable income is allocated to consumption and savings, that is, dy equals c plus s. Combining identities 6 and 7, we get c plus s equals dy equals y plus tr minus t or c equals dy minus s equals y plus tr minus t minus s. Identity 9 shows that consumption expenditure equals disposable income less savings or consumption expenditure equals national income plus transfers less taxes and savings. Importance of circular flow of income is shows the smooth functioning of an economy helps understand the problem of disequilibrium and guides the restoration of equilibrium, helps identify leakages in the circular flow and their effects on income and expenditure, and lastly, highlights the importance of monetary and fiscal policies. Thank you.